guys, welcome back to our channel Walk and Talk with Jesus. This is Soumya. I trust you're all doing well. Uh, I'm back with another video uh, in the series of Acting in Faith. But just this time, I'm bringing something that Lord used uh, from the Bible, a couple of scenarios and situations to strengthen me when I'm going through something tough. And then when I had to act in faith, uh, this is what he showed me. And I've never seen these scenarios in the angle that he spoke to me ever before or I've never heard from anybody as well. And if you already heard something like this from the Lord, I'm really glad. And if not, maybe this will help you. Uh, when we are in a tougher situation or when our future is blurry and when we are hopeless in any kind of the situations, you know, um, there will be many questions that uh, turn around, you know. I personally go to the Lord with all my questions, you know. And I've heard few people saying that you have no right to ask questions and all that kind of stuff. Which could be true in one angle, in one way, you know, because he's the almighty God and he has power over everything. But also he's our friend. He's my papa. He's my dad. You know, where else I could go if I cannot go to him? Who else could comfort me? You know, Jesus said that I'm sending you the Holy Spirit. He will be your comforter. He'll be your teacher. He'll remind you things. Uh, who will we ask the questions if not the teacher, you know? Um, not in a harsh way. Humbly, you can ask the questions to the Lord and He's always ready to answer you. You know, He's our solution. He's our answer. But um, in one of my situations, you know, I was going through something uh, really hard. And, you know, if we go through the similar situations again and again, I don't know how you all feel like, but, you know, I was sitting down outside and then I was asking um, the Lord, like, you know, what is that something that I missed? when I, I thought I've already gone through this situation. Um, I thought you already passed me. Uh, Lord, you already helped me. I thought I'm on the, on the cliff of the mountain and I cannot do anything anymore. But then you helped me. You did your miracle. You know, your, your works of your hands were amazing. I saw them. But why am I going through this situation again? Like, you know, similar situation again. You already passed me through this test. Do you ever feel like that? Did you ever go through the same situations or similar situations and felt that, why am I going through these situations again and again? You know, uh, I was asking those questions. I was trying to find out if there is anything that I missed out or if there is anything that I needed to learn more or equip more. What is it? What is it that is making me going through the same situation again? We, sweet Holy Spirit, uh, brought this couple of um, things into my mind when I was asking him these questions from the Bible. Um, growing up as a Christian, we know that, you know, we all grew up uh, hearing these stories from Moses, you know, how the Red Sea was departed and all that stuff. Uh, such wonderful, miraculous things, you know, in all Exodus, you know, not just the ten plagues and after they came out of the Egypt when Lord was directing Israelites to the promised land the first miracle was you know um, that departing of the Red Sea and how did this happen in 14th chapter of Exodus it is written in 21st verse that Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and that's all he did he didn't do anything he just stretched out his hand according to the command from the Lord. Whatever he's hearing from the Lord, he did it. And uh, we can, if, we, if you read out that whole chapter, you'll understand, you know, it's sometimes I feel like, I wish I was right there to watch this miracle, you know, water standing and uh, in the middle, I'm walking on the dry land. Isn't that amazing? Uh, our Father is amazing. Our Lord is amazing. The works of His hands are amazing. Uh, then Holy Spirit was asking me that, you know, uh, Israelites were coming out of Egypt. They are on their way to Promised Land uh, after the first miracle, which is like, you know, departing of the sea and walking on the dry lands. Uh, did they already reach the Promised Land? No, there were so many things that needs to happen after that as well to reach the promised land, to reach the destiny. Uh, then he also reminded me another verse, which is from Joshua, you know, the third chapter. If you read the whole chapter of Joshua, third chapter, uh, you'll understand it more clearly. This is what Lord tells to Joshua that tell the priests who carry the Ark of the Covenant, when you reach the edge of the Jordan's water, go and stand 
in the water so and Lord started comparing these two situations before me while Moses departed the Red Sea uh, he did not do anything but stretched his hand over the sea and that's all he had to do but here afterwards they had to step in the water and later we can find this in the 15th verse of a third chapter yet as soon as the priests who carried the ark reached the Jordan and their feet touched the water's edge the water from upstream stopped flowing the minute their feet touched the water it stopped flowing down and at this point when this was happening at this point you know uh, it was the Jordan was uh, in the flood stage it was during the harvest the flow was heavy but all that was needed at this point of time was their feet needed to touch this water before when Moses did that miracle he didn't have to touch anything he didn't have to do anything but stretch his hand that's all and Lord did everything for them but this time Lord is asking them to take a step forward how they are going into this water while carrying the ark in their hands and if we go back to the history again you know ark is heavy and it is uh, super important how you carry it you have certain things that you need to be careful of you cannot do as you want to do you know you have to be really careful you cannot put the ark down and it, it could be heavy and when and this is how is this river this is like this it's flowing like this right and that means the land uh, where wherever they are stepping the land that land is not uh, straight for them to just step their feet like that and just stand still it, it was tough for them to do and like you know to, to stand in there you know uh, to get the courage you know when the water is flowing super hard and heavy when the flow is very fast you know but Lord is asking them to step in step in no matter how it looks like it could look heavy it could look bad you might see that oh there is not even a space for me to put my feet properly you know it's all like you know like this how am I going to do this and I have arc on my hands there could be many questions that priests are going through at that point of time so Holy Spirit was reminding me that you know you all you are thinking that you already passed the Red Sea but there is also Jordan before you that you need to pass which is maybe you have something in your hands that is heavy that you cannot even walk with it you have to be very careful um, but here I am asking you to step in and they didn't even step in read uh, I mean if we read the words it I got chill bumps when I read this verse when Holy Spirit reminded me about this you know he asked them to step into the waters to start with but then it, the word says that the minute the feet their feet touched the water's edge that's all that's all it needed so it's just that you know Lord is asking you to do something but you don't even have to do completely you know if you have that spark or if you have that zeal to do whatever he is asking you to do and if you go forward for that he'll take care of the rest he'll make everything possible before you and i know it is very easy to say uh, and very hard to do um, definitely it is hard to do but anything any situations that you know uh, when lord is asking us to do to come out of our comfort zone you know where where we are and you know we we wish everything will be easier but sometimes we have to step into the water where the land is not straight you know where the land is not uh, skipped properly uh, but it's okay you know as their feet touched the water the water from the upstream stopped flowing the situations in our lives will also will stop and whatever hindrances are there whatever obstacles are coming on our way will stop maybe this time whatever you are going through um, you you might have to step into these waters now whatever those waters are before you just ask the Lord I just wanted to bring this before you and encourage you with what Lord had encouraged me um, hope and pray that this will encourage you and uh, strengthen your faith and uh, uh, help you to act in faith and pursue uh, Jesus and follow him uh, in whatever ways that he is asking you to do 
um, and please comment down below that will encourage us friends um, uh, please put them down in the comments below whatever God is speaking to you or if he's speaking to you in any other way or if there is anything that we need to pray about you guys uh, please put that down below and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet go ahead and click on the subscribe button and uh, uh, click on that bell button so you'll be notified whenever we upload our new videos and if you like our videos please do like and also share with your friends so they can be blessed too thank you you have a blessed day bye bye